The Environmental Health Division within the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs recently held a Vector Awareness Road Show in the northern communities of the island aimed at bringing awareness of vectors and vector-borne diseases. Chief Environmental Health Officer Paka Ragnanan says this activity is necessary and it is important that they target the communities to educate on ways to reduce the threats posed by vectors and vector-borne diseases. It's very, very important, especially as we are about to enter the hurricane season, where we have increased rainfalls. Generally, we see coinciding with heavy rainfalls is an increase of our mosquito population, as well as our rodent, rats especially, population. And we know both of these vectors are critical to us in St. Lucia because they carry diseases that can be transmitted to humans and vector-borne diseases can be fatal and hence the reason why we are creating the awareness, meeting with the communities, uh, giving out information and telling people what they can do. Environmental Health Officer for Vector Control, Charlotte Charles Leon says, this activity focuses primarily on vectors and it is her hope that the information on precautionary measures to protect against vector-borne diseases will be well received. There are certain actions that we would like the public to take when it comes to the communities in terms of improving sanitation, ensuring that they have no um, water holding containers in and around their homes that can contribute to the proliferation of mosquitoes, um, no bulky waste garbage around their home which may um, contribute to the proliferation of rats in and around their home. So we're just trying to give them the information that they need so that they can make the most positive choices in, to ensure that their health and safety is at um, the forefront. Ragnanan also called on families and communities to play their part and take action to protect themselves from vector-borne diseases. Vector control is a personal responsibility. Persons must desire to do their part in terms of controlling vectors in the environment at their homes and, and therefore we see that uh, we need to work together with communities, with people, in order for us to achieve uh, the desired impact in terms of reducing vectors and ultimately vector-borne diseases. The Vector Awareness Roadshow will continue this weekend in the south of the island starting from the community of Denry to Sufre. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Funnel Neptune.